Today we're going to be talking about menstrual cups. So menstrual cups are silicone funnel shaped cups that are inserted into the internal genital area to collect menstrual fluid. And the best part about menstrual cups is that they are fully reusable. There are a bunch of different brands of menstrual cup. There's Diva Cup, Salt, Organa Cup, etc. And they all come in slightly different shapes and sizes. So you can kind of see I have two different brands here and they're just a little bit different. And so some of the things you'll want to consider when you're looking for a menstrual cup are the kind of the thickness you would like in your menstrual cup, how heavy your menstrual cycle is, and your cervical height. And so one easy way to measure your cervical height is to take one or two clean fingers and you'll want to insert into the genital area until you feel your cervix. And your cervix will kind of feel like the end of your nose. There'll be a fairly distinct change in texture. And if you can't feel your cervix at all, you might have a higher cervix. If you can feel it around your first knuckle, that might mean you have a slightly lower cervix. And if you can feel it around your second knuckle, you might have a more normal height cervix. And so once you've kind of figured that out, you can look into which menstrual cup, you know, if you need a longer one or a shorter one, et cetera, um, you can kind of gauge that based on where your cervix is sitting. And your cervix does change position throughout your menstrual cycle. So it's important that if you're trying to measure your cervix for a menstrual cup to do so around the first day of your menstrual cycle. So once you've figured out which menstrual cup you're, you'd like to use, the first step to using a menstrual cup is to sanitize it. And most of the time your menstrual cup will come with instructions for before your first use and how to sanitize it. But typically what that looks like is you take your menstrual cup and you put it into a pot of boiling water for around three to five minutes and then you'll remove it, let it cool, and then it will be sanitized for you to use. So once you've sanitized your menstrual cup, you're gonna to wanna to get into a comfortable position. And this will usually look similar to the position you would get into for inserting a tampon. Um, you might wanna be sitting on the toilet, you might want to be laying down, you might wanna have one leg up, kind of whatever is comfortable and whatever feels um, most natural to you. So once you've gotten into your comfortable position, you're going to want to fold your menstrual cup. And there are a bunch of different ways to fold it. It will all kind of be, again, your personal preference and what works best for your body. And you can feel free to Google some other, you know, ways to fold a menstrual cup if the ones that I suggest are not working best for you. But I'll show you a few right here today. So we're going to, the first one is the U fold or the C fold. So you're going to take the menstrual cup kind of punch it in the middle like this and fold it up and it makes this kind of U and C shape like so. Another one is the punch down method. So you'll kind of take the menstrual cup like this, punch down and then you have kind of a point that you can use to help guide your insertion. And then another one is the triangle fold. So you'll kind of squish it and then fold it over itself like this. Um, so like I was saying, basically whichever method kind of works best for you and feels most comfortable for you is definitely what you should use. And then once you have folded your menstrual cup, how you prefer, you're going to again, angle this similarly to the way that you would angle inserting a tampon, which is uh, towards your lower back. So once you're ready to insert, you will insert your cup. It will open. And then you'll want to make sure it's kind of formed that seal. So once you've felt it open, you can give a little bit of a tug on the tail of the menstrual cup to make sure that that seal has been formed. If you feel like it hasn't formed the correct seal or it's not sitting quite right, you can try to slightly rotate or twist the cup just to make sure, you know, it fits properly. And don't feel afraid to, you know, take it out and try again if it's not sitting quite right. And then once you have fully placed in your menstrual cup, the stem should sit roughly half an inch away from the opening um, to your 
to the genitals. And that will, again, kind of look different on everyone depending on how high or low your cervix is, but just something to keep in mind in terms of, you know, gauging if it's properly placed. So once you're ready to remove your menstrual cup, you're going to take your clean hands. You don't wanna pull from the stem because many of the stems on menstrual cups are not strong enough to be fully tugged on. You'll want to reach in and kind of reach to the base of the menstrual cup. And many menstrual cups have a change in texture so you can feel where that base of the cup is. So you'll feel where the base of the cup is, kind of press down to break the seal. And then after that, you should be able to easily kind of pinch and remove the cup. And then once you've removed it, you can empty the contents into the toilet Rinse it out, reinsert it, or if you're fully done with it, you can take it with you and re-sanitize it for your next menstrual cycle. So I'm gonna try and show this to you again with this open, just for a little bit of a clearer visual. So you're going to fold your cup, insert like you would a tampon, it will open, check that it's in place, and then when you're ready to remove it, you will punch down and remove. And that is how you use a menstrual cup.